Okay, today I'm showing off a 1973 faucet Audner. I don't know if I'm saying that right or not, but this is the very first faucet we've had. And faucets are Swedish typewriters, and I guess they're pretty, they're known for um, how well they operate. And I have to say that even though it's not the prettiest typewriter, it does type very well. So I don't know everything about this typewriter, but I am going to show you as much as I can. This is an all metal typewriter, it's not plastic. And um, first let's take a look at a few things. Um, just like every other typewriter, this is gonna be your margins. You squeeze and then move them to where you want them. On the sides, let me see if I can get this in. Hold on. I'm going to lock this carriage. Oh, this would be a good time to show you. Okay, this button right here on the left, this locks the carriage. So, here we go. As long as that's up, that means the carriage is locked. So, on the sides, you're going to see a lever. And that one says 1. This one says B. I don't know why. But they both are your tab set and clear. So to let me move this typewriter a little bit here. There we go. So to set and clear your tabs, you're just going to use these levers on the side. And let me show you on the carriage where it does that. So to release the carriage, you're going to press down until it stays down. And now the carriage is unlocked. And we're going to move it over here. And if you see the teeth back here, these are your tab sets presets and so you if you can see that moving in and out that is how the tab is set and cleared okay right here is going to be your paper you know for your return so you can adjust it to one two or three line advance paper release is right here carriage release are the two silver levers behind the roll handles and then I'm going to put the hand carriage all the way to the left. You just pop the top off. And here's a ribbon. We put in a universal ribbon so that does fit this typewriter. Black is on top, red is on bottom when you need to replace it. So make sure it's threaded through the guide wires properly. Now if you're familiar with some of the other typewriters, when you see like this double cylinder, you think that's where the ribbon reversal is. Not so on this typewriter. Instead, let's see which way it's going right now. So instead, to reverse the direction of your ribbon, you're gonna see a bar that goes underneath the escapement. It's right down here. And so you're gonna switch. So I just switched that. And then it's going the other way now. And then to switch it back, just this way. Okay, so that is how you do the ribbon reversal. Um, and then to take out the spools to change them out, you just pull this little, oh, I don't even know what you call it, this little silver thingy out, doodad, and then pull out your spools and you can put in a new one. All of our typewriters come with fresh spools in them. Okay, so then you just pop this back on. We're going to move the carriage back over and load a piece of paper. And let's go ahead and do our typing demo. Let me try to straighten this out a little bit. All you OCD people are probably freaking out. I'm not OCD, so it doesn't bother me, but okay, here we go. So this is a 1973. Faucet, Audner. and if I'm saying it wrong, let me know, but that's the only way I know how to say it. So let's go ahead and test out all these keys. And I like how clear the font is. This is your backspace, and that works really nice. It looks like this is a 12 CPI. Oops. And I think I have it on, yeah, I had double lines. So I'm gonna put it back to single. And then 
that is going to be your ship lock is right here and let's go ahead and test the uppercase of everything I would equate this to an Olympia. This is how it feels. It's so, the carriage has a really smooth action to it. The keys, I, I like how they just kind of bounce right back up as I'm typing on it. It reminds me very much of an Olympia typewriter. Okay, let's test out the red ribbon. The color selector is over here on the left. This is a, a very smooth typewriter. I would say it's great for um, avid <laughs> writers. Because when you're writing a lot, you need something that's going to, um, that's easy to type on and easy to use. So um, this is going to be good for those of you who have extensive, um, extensive writing projects. All right, this is great. I love it. I hope you like it. I'm going to show you one more thing. Oops. No, that's where I wanted it. So if you want to know where the serial number is for a faucet, it is going to be, uh, let me, I need to remove the carriage. I'll remove this, move the carriage, and it's going to be right here on the plate on the left side, just so you know. All right, I hope this was helpful for you. If you're interested in seeing details on this and more images, go to the link um, in the comments below, that's our Etsy shop, and just check out our Etsy shop, see what we have in stock. We put in new typewriters every few days. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe and have a great day.